Hey Gemini, so I'm gonna do a reading. We're gonna see what your messages are at this time, okay? Just keep in mind while you're listening to the reading that this is general. Don't force it to fit your situation, okay? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking great care of yourself, Gemini. We're gonna go ahead and get started and see what you guys have going on at this time, okay? Okay, so hats came out, all right? This one says, you'll be playing a different role, okay? So today, you're gonna be doing something different, all right? Let's see. What can the collective look forward to today? And I'm going to clarify each of these cards to give you more detail. But Spirit, can you share with me what the collective can look forward to today? What can the collective look forward to today, Holy Spirit? What can the collective look forward to? Thank you. Okay, so a few cards came out. Dark man came out. It says dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. And then it came out with March. Okay, so the month of March is significant to you or this dark man. All right. This could be an, an Aries or Pisces. Okay, let's see. Uh, what should the collective avoid today? collective avoid today. Let's see. I have one card here. What should the collective avoid today? Oh, okay. One card spirit. What should the collective avoid today? Have one card. Okay. <laughs> I knew this was gonna come out. Love came out. Okay. And we're gonna clarify this one. Okay, so this definitely feels like a love reading. Um there is something new here for you. There's something new. There's a, you may be meeting a dark man today, or you may be this dark man. Um, you may be connecting to somebody today. At the bottom of this deck, I see coins. It says money will be coming to you. So that's always, you know, a blessing. So, you know, something to look forward to today. Let's see about this hat. Spirit, tell me more about you will be playing a different role. So there is a, you're wearing a new hat today, okay? You may be physically wearing a new hat or, you know, you bought a hat, okay? So tell me about hats. You will be playing a different role. Spirit, tell me about that. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So we have the star here, and it came out with the Will of Fortune. Okay, so this is a, this is a big change for you. All right. I feel like um, this is something to look forward to. This is a blessing. This is the change that you've been asking for. So there's a change, a huge change. And it feels like it may be surrounding love. It could also be surrounding your finances here. But I feel like um, you have been continually continually um, improving, um, feeling, okay, more optimistic, more positive about your situation. And so your situation is changing. All right, you could be an Aquarius, you could also be a Leo, Scorpio, a Taurus, but it's like um, you have shifted into a new version of yourself. Spirit, tell me more about this different role. Tell me more about this. So you are getting a lot of attention here with the star card. All of a sudden, you're getting a lot of eyes on you. I'm seeing people looking at you, okay? So where you're... Where you are today, you're being noticed, okay? You're also being watched, possibly by this dark man, all right? And this is something to look forward to, this dark man, okay? Um, hmm. For some of you, there is a love offer coming your way for sure. With that Ace of Cups here. I feel like you are just being yourself. You're very natural. You are very positive. I'm seeing that here. Very optimistic about your future, about life in general. And these are things that are helping your situation turn turn positive, okay? Change in a positive way. So things, I'm also seeing like... Um, Yeah, you just kind of feel very lucky today, okay? It just feels like you have a lot of favor today. Spirit, tell me more about this hat. Tell me more, Spirit. 
scared about this hat. It's going to be playing a different role, so I'm more scared. Yeah, so I feel like you're going to be put in charge as well, okay? You're going to be put in charge of a group of people. Ace of Pentacles, and I'm seeing the King of Swords, all right? Some of you may have gotten a, a new job or you're finding out that you're getting a new job and this pays a lot more money, okay? So you are going to be receiving a lot of money, that's what I'm seeing that as well with this new position. I also see this Dolphin card. It says financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. So whatever past actions you've been doing, working on yourself, you know, being more optimistic about your situation, taking you know, steps to change your situation, those past actions, they're bringing more positivity, more blessings, um, yeah, just positive changes to your life, that's what I'm seeing, all right, so it's like you are stepping into this new version of yourself, and today you're going to start to see that, you're going to start to see that people are looking up to you, I'm seeing that, people are watching you, um, I'm just seeing you getting a lot of offers as well, okay, I'm seeing like people maybe gifting you. It could be your birthday today, but I'm seeing that um, people want to celebrate you, okay? Wow, okay. Okay, Spirit wants to give you like a huge pat on the back. This is the, the sun card, okay? So everything is up. Everything is looking um, like it's going in your favor, okay? So if you've been in this energy of, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to... I'm going to keep working on myself. I'm going to stay positive. Like, if you're putting out this positive energy, you're going to start to see that it comes back to you. I feel like today you're starting to notice that. There may be a specific offer that comes in your way that brings more money. Okay, so tell me about this dark man, Spirit. Tell me more about this. This person could be an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, but I feel like... This person is making a smart decision, okay? You are a smart option, or you are the best option, okay? So somebody is definitely watching you. So tell me more about, um, yeah, you are like, <laughs> I'm hearing ripe for the picking. So I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not really sure, but I feel like somebody has been keeping their eye on you. And you have grown a lot, okay? So you are ripe for the picking, <laughs> okay? I'm, not, I'm still not really sure, but it just feels like you are mature. You are ready for this new position, all right? So you have done a lot of training. <laughs> you have done a lot of growing, okay? So you are at your peak or you're at your ripest. Spirit, tell me more about this dark man. Tell me more about this. So somebody can clearly see, like, out of... All of their options, okay, because this person is choosing, okay, out of all of their options, you are the best one. So this definitely feels like it could be job related, all right, like they're interviewing a lot of people and they don't have it like you, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. Like the people that this person is interviewing or talking to or, you know, connecting to, whatever you're doing, you have that extra little something on top of your you know resume or the way that you talk about yourself and your skills like whatever it is you clearly stand out you're clearly um an individual all right you could be an aquarius but you definitely stand out i don't know if you're aware of this but all of those past actions that you've been taking um they are bringing you a lot of um new offers okay especially financially all right, so keep up the good work for sure. Spirit is saying your situation is turning in a positive way. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this dark man. What else is it going to be to know about this dark man? Okay, so let's see. This card fell way under there. Okay. The King of Wands with the Ace of Cups. Okay, so the Dark Man, this person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like this person is definitely a go-getter, okay? This is somebody who knows how to take charge. They know how to go after what they want. And what they want is you, okay? Um, they want to give you this offer. And I feel like this offer that they give you, wow, okay. 
this is something that you may have not felt before or you, ha you haven't felt this in a long time. Um, this does feel like love, but it doesn't have to be love, but it does feel like it could be love. <laughs> so just kind of take this how it fits. This offer is very generous, okay? If it's not somebody that you're looking at in a romantic sense, the offer that they're giving you, it's like very sweet, very kind. Um, you are favored is what I'm seeing. You are definitely favored. You're special and you're being treated like you're special. Okay, so you're getting a lot of, again, attention. Um, I feel like people are going to be working with you. Okay, so I feel like people want you to be comfortable. I feel like um, whatever your financial requirements are for this position, they want to um, exceed your expectations. Okay, so this person, they want to they wanna make you feel like you're going with the right option as well. Yeah, because you're somebody who can be with anybody or you can be at any position and just really... Okay, so the okay, so you make you make this company or this person um, look very valuable. Okay, you add a lot of value to whatever this thing is. Spirit, tell me more. And so they're gonna want to treat you. They want to give you like the royal treatment, is what I'm seeing. They don't want you to go anywhere. Okay, so they're gonna show you that they don't want you to go anywhere. You're going to know. Wow. Okay. So for some of you, this is, yeah, this is love. I see the King of Cups here. Or I'm sorry. This is the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Wands came out. Okay. So this, this for some of you, this is about a, um, a relationship. This is the King and the Queen of Wands here. So together you guys are like, um, for sure a powerful couple. I'm seeing, you know, you guys are you guys are powerful individually as well. Okay. This person that's coming towards you, they know that you could be with any person. You can um, you know, you have your own thing going. Like you don't have you're not you don't depend on this person. You don't depend on anyone. Again, you're somebody who's very um um You're an individual, okay? There's another word that I'm trying to say. I'm trying to think of. I can't really think of it, okay? So, yeah, you're, indivi you're, you're independent. So this person sees that, okay? And the Six of Wands came out. So I feel like, yeah, they want to, okay? So this person is trying to, okay? So I feel like this offer that's coming your way they want you to say yes. They don't want you to turn this down because they know, like, they know that you don't have to take their offer. They know that you can get this offer. Hmm. You can go with any offer, okay? But they really want you to take their offer, all right? You could be dealing with the Leo, okay? But this person is coming on strong. I'm seeing that here. Spirit, tell me more about this dark man. Yeah, they want to show you that, you know, wow, okay, the Ten of Cups. Ooh, okay, so, okay, the Ten of Cups and the Four of Swords. All right. They are trying to secure this offer, okay? They are trying to secure you. They want you to stay with them, okay? So they will show you that they are serious. I feel like this person may be... Okay, so for sure they're asking you to commit to them. Okay, like, will you take this? Will you be here long term? Okay, can you stay here? I want to give you something that represents long term. This may cause you to, like, you know, take some time to think about what this person is offering you. All right? But with that ten of cups, like, this, it's like it doesn't get any better than this. Especially if you're looking for um, someone to commit to, if you're looking for a long-term relationship, this is a solid offer, all right? Anything else, Spirit, with this dark man? Tell me more about the Four of Swords. Let's see what comes out with that. The Four of Swords. For the collective, the Four of Swords. So I feel like mm, 
Yeah, Queen of Cups here. I feel like you're trying to... This kind of makes you feel, feel a certain way. Some of you are still holding on to some disappointment, some past emotions, past regrets. Maybe you need some time to, you know, just kind of think about what this person is offering you. Okay, okay, and I see the Seven of Swords here. So, this may be something that you you may need to reconsider and just kind of think about it because whatever this person is offering you, it's kind of, it kind of feels like you're backing away from it now. Okay, it's it's everything feels like it's going so well, and then you're, it kind of feels like you're like pulling back. Okay, or if this is not you doing this, it's a person. Just kind of take this energy, how it fits, take the message, how it applies to your situation. I see the tower here. This may, this person may be coming on too strong for you. Maybe you're still healing. You're still heavily focused on your healing journey, which is, you know, no problem. Just let this person know, like, you know, I'm, I've been through X, Y, and Z, and I just really want to take my time. You know, just be honest, be upfront. Because it kind of feels like um, you may be going maybe back and forth or it's like you're, you're in it and then you're like, I don't know, this kind of feels too good to be true. Like you're, you're questioning, like, is this too good to be true? Can I really have all of this? And Spirit is saying, yeah, because of all this work that you've been doing on yourself. Yes, you can. This was, this was always the goal for you to be in this type of love connection. All right, so just take some time to think about that. Um, for those of you that are kind of getting cold feet, like especially if you know this is a type of relationship that you want, you know, take some time to think about it. Because you don't want to turn down um, a blessing, okay? I see that you and this person, you know, could have something long term. You see in that year, it's a lot of love that this person has for you, and I feel like the energy is mutual. It just feels like somebody is getting a little bit afraid. So we have love in the section of what to avoid. So you may be avoiding love at this time. Tell me more about that, Spirit. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more about that. Why is the collective avoiding love? Why is the collective avoiding this love offer? Why is the collective avoiding this generous offer? Okay. So, the Queen of Pentacles, she came out reverse. All right, and then it came out with the Nine of Wands also reverse, okay? Yeah, cold. Okay, I see cold energy. Um, some of you may be stubborn or kind of stuck and set in your own way and your own thing. Because I feel like you are an individual, for sure. You've been doing your own thing for a long period of time, and you may be kind of set in your ways. Set in your ways, okay? It's the world here at the bottom. Hmm. It's like you don't really want to... Maybe you're not ready for a committed relationship. Maybe you're just not ready to compromise your singlehood. Okay, maybe that's what this is. Maybe you just want to be single. And that's, of course, that's your choice. But this offer feels very tempting as well. So, yeah, take some time to think about what you want. Four of Swords, I feel like that would be the best option. Okay? Connect to yourself and see what you want at this time in your life. Some time alone is going to be beneficial. Tell me more, Spirit. Page of Swords and the Hangman. Yeah. I feel like this person, okay, they may have asked you a question already. They may have asked you something specific. And it's, it just kind of feels like... You're taking your time to respond. This is the Nine of Pentacles, and I see the hangman here. So it kind of feels like you left this person on red. <laughs> Maybe you're just trying to figure out, like, how to reply to this, this uh, offer, okay? Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Mm. So listen to your intuition for sure. You're going to know if this is what you want, okay? Your gut will tell you, okay? 
Can I have one more? Thank you. New love. It says a new love or recommitment to love is developing. I'm also seeing for some of you, there could be another person involved that you're dealing with and you're trying to figure out like what, what to do, which, which option should I take? Okay. Um, again, I would just say like be honest, you know, be honest with what your situation is. Take some time to reflect on your situation and see what you want or where you want things to go okay um let me just see so is there anything else to collect to see anything else you need to collect to see separation is here okay this one says time apart from your part from your person is on the horizon all right I have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. Yeah, some of you are just, some of you just want to be single right now. Like maybe you're not ready for commitments. Maybe the time is not right for you right now. And, you know, that's fine. I would just say be honest. Okay. Don't hold on to something that you know, like it's not going to work for you right now. Can I have one more spirit? Thank you. Keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so collective, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this here. I do see very soon here. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna leave this reading here. I hope it was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.